finally somebody who gets it. And I love that you're not a part of the community because you don't know the history behind what's going on in this video. But you are discerning enough to know that something's going on here. So I appreciate that, sis. You're a thousand percent correct. There are a lot of things that we're dealing with and I think that's what people don't understand and I get it I get it right everybody's perception is based off of their history not our history the people in the comment sections who are just like okay I'm gonna have to think on this and help you come up with the solution you know because that's what everybody in the room is doing we're all throwing around possible causalities of why something that just happened right i believe that we should be able to respond to something that just happened and those of you who are familiar with my content you understand that the things that i share on the internet i share my life so this is my life and so it's going to be shared on the internet because i am a motherless fatherless child who no one raised me i had to raise myself the streets raised me so i was called in 2013 to share open and honestly so that people can stop living their lives in shame. And in doing that, I'm helping others navigate these waters of relationships, life, self-love, self-discovery, parenting, all the things. And all of the things aren't warm and fuzzy. For people to sit here and think that we're only supposed to share wonderful moments on the internet, but we're being authentic. Well, guess what? It happens in authenticity. And other people can choose not to share those things, but like you said, this is light work. And all we're doing, whether the language is palatable to different people's taste buds or not, hey, this is how we speak. He a dude from Gary. I'm a motherless kid from the streets. This is how we speak. The other individual who is my daughter who's speaking and dealing with being targeted by her sister because her sister doesn't like her. So we are all responding from a space of history with this one particular child. But everyone in the comments and who's observing this video is responding from their history with their children or their history with their hypothetical children or their history based off the way that you're supposed to respond to a child. If we continue to move how we're supposed to move, we will continue to create the world that we're creating. And I am 100%, 1,000% committed to not sending my legacy off into the world to move how everyone else moves in the world. Whether people agree with my methodology or not, that's not here for me to debate. This is how I choose to raise my family. This is how my family within their boundaries have allowed me to raise our family. We are in the midst of restructuring our family. We are in the midst of digging all up the bullshit and getting to the root. And in that, it's not pretty. But I committed to, if I'm going to help other people figure this thing out, I'm going to have to show some things that most people would never show. Because if I only show the good things, the people who are inspired to restructure their family are going to hit roadblocks and they're going to be like, well, Lonnie didn't hit any roadblocks. Oh, hell yeah, I have. I done almost lost my marriage. I got a kid that's masked up and 100% committed to defiance. I got relationships I'm working through with my stepchildren so that they could trust me enough to be a source of knowledge so I could help continue to raise them for the spaces of deficits that I see within them. I got a six-year-old who's curious about God and Jesus and now I got to navigate that and figure out how to introduce that without indoctrination because that is how he learned about God and Jesus through indoctrination. I got a five-year-old with a speech impediment that's about to start kindergarten and raising his esteem and knowledge of self so that he's strong enough within himself to survive mean-ass little kids who also turn into mean-ass adults but you know. I got me working through my anxiety of starting a career and actually executing my dream. Presently, I've fallen out of sync with my daughter and so we're button heads. So yes, this is light work compared to what's really going on in this house. But in order for me to show the growing pains of the work that we're doing, I have to show the growing pains. If me showing what my family is going through is disruptive to other people's peace, they should probably just swipe up and trust me everyone in my family within their boundaries are very much okay with the content that i share but i definitely think everyone else should govern their lives the way that they feel that they should govern their lives 
and they should stop trying to govern other people's lives. Because the Appleton Taylor family over here is figuring it out. And we're figuring it out in a way that can be helpful to others. So before I allow society to push me back, right? Because we're all trained to be lemurs and follow the leader. But there's a select few like you who can laugh about it. Like, yeah, this is, this is exactly why, sis. This is exactly why. <laughs> And then there's the other ones who are actually dealing with stuff and they're like, yo, me too. What the are we going to do about this? There's people who watch for controversy and they're just like, I just come here to disagree with you. You should question why you seek things in your life to disagree with. Then there's people out there who are just out here for the entertainment. Are you not entertained? Yes, yeah, sis. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. This is light work. I ain't going to let nobody coax me back into a corner because like I said, I can't get people to, to dig up their stuff and not tell them what to do once the stuff is dug up. For those who think this shouldn't be shared on the internet, you definitely shouldn't share it.